Hi everyone, my name is Alex. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be trying the Summer Fridays Shade Drops Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Mineral Milk Sunscreen. This product retails for $36. So Summer Fridays is a brand that I've tried a few of their products on this channel. I'm very excited to try out this product because it is the first sunscreen launch that Summer Fridays has released. I always get excited trying new sunscreens and so I can't wait to see how this performs. This product is vegan, cruelty free, fragrance free, alcohol free, and comes in recyclable packs. This product is also 100% mineral. The highlighted sunscreen filter in this is Zinc Oxide, which is my favorite sunscreen filter. So I always look for a lot of big things going into a sunscreen trial. I usually mainly try to focus on does it cause acne? That's always the big thing I worry about with sunscreens. I've looked at the ingredients of this product and on paper, it doesn't look like anything would set off my acne. It has a really great ingredient list. And so I feel like this product will be be suitable for my acne prone skin but sometimes sunscreens can clog pores and so that will just be something I'm looking for. Another thing I'm looking for is does it leave a white cast on me? Usually if a sunscreen leaves a white cast on me it means it would not be suitable for someone with darker skin. If I see any reviews online of people who do have darker skin using this product I will leave them linked below so you can get a broad spectrum of different skin tones using this product. The final thing I'm looking for with this product is what type of finish does it leave on my skin. Sunscreens can either feel very suffocating or feel really great on the skin. It's hard to find a balanced sunscreen. I will just be looking to see how this feels on the skin, how it wears throughout the day, how I personally feel about the sunscreen. Is it something that I would gravitate towards? If I notice anything else with this product, I will continue to let you all know and I will be doing check-ins. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm back to give you all a quick check-in on this product and also use it for the very first time on camera. I've started doing my sunscreen check-ins with natural lighting now because I learned with the last one, it does give a little bit more of an accurate picture of what it looks like. I haven't used this product. This is the very first time I'm using it. I do want to show you the texture of it because that is where this product really stands out in my opinion. It is a very liquidy texture as you can see there and it is a little bit white but it does have just a little bit of a tint to it that I feel like will correct any white cast. Now like I said this is the first time I'm using it so I will be just wanting to see how it performs and how it feels on the skin throughout the day. I do have a long day ahead of me so I'm excited to see how it performs. I'm gonna go ahead and use it and see how it feels. This is by far the liquidiest sunscreen I've ever used. So as you can see already, it does give a really nice glow to the skin. I'm looking in the viewfinder and it looks really good. There's not really any white cast on me. As long as this sunscreen performs as well as I hope it's going to, this will be my favorite sunscreen because that was by far the lightest sunscreen application I've ever done. It reminds me of the Crave Beauty sunscreen that they have discontinued. That is as similar to the texture as I can describe it. I'm really glad that this this product reminds me of that because when they discontinued that product I got really sad and if this can be the replacement for it then it really excites me. I cannot wait to see how the sunscreen is going to continue to perform. I am going to continue to use it and then I'll check in again. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I am back to give you all my final thoughts on this product. This sunscreen, I have to say, has become one of my favorite sunscreens that I have ever tried. My favorite thing about this sunscreen is how lightweight it is. It goes on the skin really nice, and I found that this sunscreen was not overly hydrating, but it also wasn't mattifying. It was just a perfect balanced sunscreen in my opinion. This product really shines when it comes to reapplying it. I feel like that the very liquidy texture of it is great for reapplication. What I love about 
about it is that it is a mineral sunscreen that does not feel like a mineral sunscreen. It is so lightweight, by far the lightest weight sunscreen that I've ever used. The texture of it is, in my opinion, very comparable to the discontinued Crave Beauty sunscreen. I remember loving that product. It was a very balanced, yet a little bit on the more hydrating side sunscreen. This sunscreen just feels really great on the skin. I didn't experience very much pilling with it. There was a day where I rushed my skincare routine and I probably didn't let my moisturizer sink in for enough time before applying this sunscreen that I did experience just a little bit of pilling around the outer perimeter of my face. But when I would allow myself enough time during my skincare routine and I let my moisturizer sink in just a little bit, this product was perfect. This product, I have to say, it is a little bit more expensive of a sunscreen. I definitely know some more affordable options, but I would pay the extra price for this product because of the amazing lightweight texture to it. This is a sunscreen that on my skin tone does not leave any sort of a white cast. It doesn't even leave a white cast at first for me because of the liquidy texture. I don't know how this will perform on darker skin, but if I find some reviews of people with different skin tones using it, I will leave those linked in the description. I've fallen in love with this product. This is an amazing product and Summer Fridays has taken a lot of time to formulate this to be very liquidy, very lightweight. Like I don't even feel it on my skin. It does give a nice glow to the skin, but it's not, I wouldn't classify it as a hydrating sunscreen. I would more say it's just a really nice balanced sunscreen. So bottom line is I would recommend trying out this product. This formula is so brilliant in my opinion because it's the first mineral formula that really feels liquidy. It does have a milky texture, so the name is very fitting for it. It didn't cause any new acne, it didn't cause any zits, and it didn't clog my pores. So this sunscreen has become one of my favorite sunscreens that I have ever used. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you wanna see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review.